Hey, it's Heather, and today I've got a trunk club. So today I have April's Trunk Club. Jewel reached out to me. Um, I, I don't do this an automatic thing. I reach out to her when I'm ready for another trunk. Um, and I don't even really remember what I asked for. Um, I did ask for a necklace, which I know she sent. Some black capris, more uh, dressy type capris, I think was in there. And a small brimmed sun hat. I have a hot pink one. And I have one straw one that I've had for a couple of years that ha it's, it's still in decent condition. It has a big um, black scarf that kind of hangs off of it. I do wear sun hats when I'm out in the sun or I take them on cruises with me too. They blow away, but I take them on cruises with me. So I'm just going to give you a quick peek inside the box here. And now I can set it on the floor and pull out each, each piece at a time. So if you don't know about Trunk Club, Trunk Club is a styling service. You go online, you fill out a profile, they match you with a stylist. Um, you, your profile, you put in your sizes, your, the things that you like. It's $25 styling fee. Unless you have a Nordstrom account, something is, something's pinching me, sorry. Unless you have a Nordstrom credit card, which I do, so your styling service is for free. So there is no risk in this whatsoever. If I keep nothing in the box, I get charged nothing. Um, let me reach down and grab my my invoice. Actually, it's on the top of my first bundle. So, um, buttons just hit. They feel like metal buttons. All right. So, there's no bundles with this. If you, you, you what you pay for, what you keep. There's no if you keep five, you get a per certain percentage off. Um, and it is a Nordstrom based company. I feel like the pieces that I get from from Trunk Club are quality. What is itching me? There are, I get quality pieces and some unique pieces. And sometimes I just shop straight from the Nordstrom site. But Jewel does such a fun fun job. She she, she makes it fun for me. She you know sends me a preview of certain items. Sometimes I'll go in and click in because you have options of changing colors or styles. And I've done that once or twice. Sometimes I've said, I don't like that whatsoever. I know I'm not gonna wear it. So I ask her not to send that to me. And I think there were two items in my pre preview this time that I said that to. Um, you send it back in the same trunk. For me, it's the most convenient because I live in the middle of nowhere to just schedule a UPS pickup. I think it's U UPS. Yes, it is UPS. I schedule that online and I schedule the day. I put a note in there where it's going to be. They come by my house and they pick it up. So, I mean, I, there's nothing left. I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna put this giant box. This is not the biggest box I've gotten from them, nor does the smallest in there. You do get little strips to reattach to the box for any items that you don't wanna keep and retaining sticker that you stick right over top of the, the sticker that they send to you. All right, I'm probably gonna need glasses for this. There are no pictures. Um, this is your invoice. I can barely even see it in there. Um, with your prices down the side here. There's usually between 10 to 15 items, I think. This one says there are 14 items. All right. Let me put this to the side. I'm, I'm going to open, and I have something on those. I always have something on those. It doesn't matter how often I clean them. My dogs like to lick them for some reason. Let's just go ahead and do what's in this top bundle first, and then I'll get to the hat. Um, I don't like to wear hats like baseball hats and stuff. I don't think they're they don't I don't think they look good on me. Um, but I will wear a visor or a sun hat when I'm out working in the yard or laying in the in the in the by the pool or whatever. I also asked. I do remember this now. I wanted a nice white cardigan to wear over things in the spring and summer. I didn't want one really long. I didn't want one really thick. Um, I think she sent me two to try in this one. So I will pick, and I believe one of them actually was on sale. So I'll always come back to me now. So this first one is a cardigan. And this is by the brand 1901. It's a size medium and it is $49. It is a three quarter length cardigan. Buttons down the front. It's just a basic style cardigan, but it's very thin. It's very crisp. And I thought this would be cute over some dresses. You know, if I just need that extra little layer when I'm walking into the grocery store or something, um, or we're at a restaurant, because you know, when it's hot outside, the air conditioning is booming wherever you go. So I will freeze. And the price of this one, did I say that already? Is $49. So basic cardigan. I think, like I said, I think she sent me two so I can choose which one I like the best. 
All right, the next item in here. Oh, I did add an essential, what is this? I don't even see how to open it. No, this is not, I did add this, I did add a couple of essentials. You can add a couple pieces that she will add to your box of last one. I think one of them was a necklace, so. Um, sorry. No hanger, just bag in a very big bag. This is a camisole. I believe it is a double layer camisole. Um, it's fully lined, it feels like. Yes. So um, it has a sheer cutout in the V-neck, fully adjustable straps. Um, I have basic white cotton camisoles that I wear other things, but I thought this would be cute on its own or this is a size medium. I just, I do remember this coming. That's why I told her to go ahead and send it. This is my one state. And this one is la 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 la. I was very top. It's in the color cloud. It was $59. All right, let me move that great big bag over here where my dogs can't get to it. This next one she threw in and I thought it was so pretty. And I believe it's a tank top. I love the colors of this. It looks a little large. This is by Sanctuary. I wish there were. This is the craft sleeveless top called Garden Girl. I like the name of it. This is a large petite, so maybe it'll work. It might be a little flowy. And it is $79. So it does, ha it's a high low. It does have the split in the back. I thought this would be really cute with a pair of um, dark denim capris. I just thought that was a, such a pretty color. I love the yellows in it. I love yellows. I'm just not really good at wearing yellow. I want to be, but I don't feel like it. A lot of shades of yellow wash me out. So being that they're just pops in the shirt. I think that's beautiful. I hope that fits. All right, this is a pair of black capris, I believe. And then the next cardigan's down there. Are they petite? Yes, they are a petite. These are a pull-on, I think. I don't feel any zippers. Just a pull-on black capri by Nick and Zoe. I do like Nick and Zoe. I don't have a lot by them, but I've tried them. This is the Wonder Stretch Slim Leg Pants, and there, I guess they're not capris. Um, my Nick and Zoe, a petite, $128. But they have a little slit down here, so I'm thinking with a little pair of wedges. I hope those fit because I don't have, I have black jeans but no, you know, dress your pants. And this is more of a dress pant type thing. There are no pockets in this. And there are no zippers, there are no buttons. Just a pull on black pant. So that would be great for those to fit me. All right, and here is the last white cardigan. And then I have a whole nother bundle. I guess I should have taken everything out of the bags. But I feel like then I've already seen everything. Although you do see them in a preview. But I like, I like the element of surprise. This one was my favorite one when I, when she sent me the preview. This is a gauzy type Nick and Zoe sweater. It has a little bit of a wider sleeve. Um, I think that's going to be all, maybe like mid wrist, you know, all, like here level. It has a lower V neck with a few buttons, a little bit of a flare out at the bottom and in the center there, I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of ribbing just to give it more of a defined waist. I thought it was beautiful. And this one is also by Nick and Zoe, large petite. And this one is $85.99. So I'm gonna double check the prices too um, to see if anything's on sale right now. I believe one of these two cardigans was. But uh, just looking at them, this one is my favorite of the two. More along the lines of what I was thinking that I wanted. I think that's beautiful. All right, let's pull out. <laughs> this is the sun hat. This is the Joanna straw hat. It has a size, it's a size medium Brixen Honey. So, has a little protective band around the outside. It's got a little black band that's kind of in the shape of a bow that you can barely make out here. Excuse my nails, I'm going Sunday, I haven't had a chance to go. It's kind of like a Western style here. I didn't see that in the preview. <laughs> um, I don't know, we'll have to see, this is $44, some of the tags are gonna get stuck in the hairspray in my hair. You being a sun hat, I'd have to see, I can barely see what this looks like on my head, so I'll try it on in the big mirror so I can see what that looks like. 
I uh, don't want to lose that little piece to protect the outside of that. All right, then I'm out in the yard. As soon as my knee heals, that's probably where I'm going to be filming. Once I get everything cleaned up out there, I have a lower deck that's in the shade. And I think that I will be film doing a lot of my filming in there, out there. All right, one more bundle. Here are my colors. I see some greens and some pinks and some whites. And I think this top piece was an add-on necklace that I purchased. Now, I know I've mentioned to you guys before that I'm trying to mix metals. Um, I'm, I'm not good at it. I know a lot of you have given me your input. I'm try Sometimes I feel like I just wear all gold. Most of the time it's just all silver. I have my go-to pieces. This week I've not been super adventurous um, based because I have, I have not left the house since, well, I'm not, since we came home from surgery on Monday. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos though and one of my favorites and I have several favorites but one of my favorites and I've been watching her I think the longest I think she might have been the first person I ever subscribed to was Angie from Angie Angie hot and flashy Angie from hot and flashy she's got so much knowledge and she does so much research and I love her style I mean she's a tiny little thing I think she's a zero or a two no definitely taller than me so my clothes are not gonna look like they look on her for sure but I love her style. Um, I love the way she is. I know she's got a daughter in college in Florida. And I did message her. Um, I was on a cruise a couple years ago to uh, Cuba. And that was when the hurricane came through. And I messaged her, you know, hoping that she, her daughter was okay. Because I knew it was coming through the South Florida area. She messaged me back. And I was kind of surprised about that. So um, anyway, she had purchased a set of three necklaces from Nordstrom that were gold and silver. Or the kind of a reversible thing. And so I copied her. I don't have them in yet. Um, I just ordered them a few days ago. Um, actually, I have two of the three necklaces. And Miss Kristen321 showed everybody this, on one of her videos, this little necklace. You put, you add all three pieces to it. So you have one thing that you add them to it, and you put it around your neck, and you hook. And it's supposed to keep them from, detangle, from tangling up. So I ordered that one from Etsy, and it has shipped, and I'm hoping that it'll be here so I can wear all three pieces. And they're a mixture of silver and gold, and I thought that would help me be able to play with my colors a little more freely. Anyway, that being said, this necklace is not those. It was just one I wanted to try, and it was very inexpensive. It has a hot, it's by Bobble Bar. This one was $42, I believe. Yes, um, it says one size, it is gold. And it is very, I think it's going to be really tangled up. Um, I don't know how I'm going to try that on. It's all twisted up. So, but there are, I think it's three layers. You've got a little circle down here at the bottom, a basic chain, and then a little um, flat circle chain choker part. I don't know how long this one is, but I will get this undone and try it on with one of these pieces. I need to quit talking because this video is going to be forever long. All right, next item in here is green. I'm hoping, yes, first thing I see, embroidered slub knit tank size medium by Caslon for $39. I think she, this was one that I changed the color of. I believe this one comes in other colors. Um, there's a little bit of embroidery on it. It looks a little wide um, and has kind of a tack sleeve here, but it looks a little wrinkly around the corners. Uh, it's rounded hemline. It does not look like a high-low. It looks like a very basic um, tank, like a crew neck there. But I mean, sometimes you don't want to wear rayon or polyester. You just want to be casual and when you're going to be sweating, whatever. And that would be cute with a pair of white shorts or capris. Um, I don't remember seeing this. I don't think. This is pink. Oh, yes, I do. I changed the color of this one, I think. V-neck, okay, V-back linen top, size medium by Caslon. It looks a little wide. Um, it has a sleeve length that's probably going to come just above my elbow. This is the back. The back has these little strips down it. That is a size medium. What is this made out of? Does it say? And I have no problem. I, mean, I, I don't particularly like to iron, but I have a great guy. This is 100% linen, machine wash cold, gentle cycle, warm iron if needed. If needed and linen, there's it's always needed. So my little guy will do it very inexpensively, but I think that's pretty. Um, I love the back detail of that. The front neckline is rounded and the back is the V with little straps across so 
That might actually look cute with those black pants. Um, my first thought is white pants. You know what would be neat is to find a pair of white capris that are like a white eyelet. If you know where I can get a pair, let me know. In petite. Did I say how much that was? $59. All right, this was something she threw in and asked me if she could send to me. And I said, sure, why not? Um, I don't think they're gonna look good on me, but if there's no other place to try this, um, and if you don't like it, it doesn't cost you any money. You don't have to wait for a refund. These are a wide leg crop. Very, I love the green, I love the black, and these are petite, these are a medium petite, I believe. Yes, medium petite. It is an elastic waist, but it has a tie belt that does go all the way around in little belt loops. Are there pockets? There are pockets. Whoo! I think I would wear either a white tank with this. Maybe I'll try that white V-neck tank that came, that little um, camisole with this. That was kind of a cloud color. I think this needs more like a stark white or black. Uh, I think green might be too much. I, I might run downstairs and get a pair of black wedges to see how this looks. I don't know how I'm going to walk in them right now. But, you know, here's for trying, right? And those were wide leg crop pants, medium petite by Halogen Green. They are $69. So, and this is one of the things I like about Jewel is the fact that she does ask me to try things that I wouldn't normally try, you know? And I, I kind of stay away from the wide leg pants. I have one or two pairs that I wear on cruises, but I, you know, back in the day when I bought them, I took them down to my tailor, had them you know, fit, fit me well, and I got them at Banana Republic about two or three years ago, I think. So um, who knows, maybe I can find a new fresh pair. This looks like a pair of black pants as well. These are by Halogen. Um, my eyes are blurring together right now. Ankle pants, size A petite, black. Are they both by Halogen? Cardigan top, ankle pants. Okay, these are $69. Who did I, the other ones were by who? Nick and Zoe, okay. So these are $69, size A petite. These have the slit pockets in the back that are sewn shut, so they're not functioning. They do have the pockets in the front. Um, they have this the button with the slide clasp here. I don't always like that, but I'm wondering how, do they have any slits? I wonder if these could be tailored to be more of a capri length on me, but we'll give them a shot and see. They're, they have great like dress pant material. All right, a couple more items and then we'll do a try on. I told, so this was an add on that I had her add on. Um, I usually just wear a regular bra, but if I'm going to wear a tank top that part of my bra will show, I choose to usually wear a bralette and sometimes a bralette over a bra, I mean a thin bra or something just for the detail of it. And I just thought this was so, I'm not going to try this on for you. But I just thought it was so cute. I'll try this on for my husband. This one is, where'd it go? I just saw it, that's what made me grab it. It is black medium by Free People, size 38. So I have a very thin, I could wear like a strapless bra underneath this for support. And then the, just this over top to peek out of a little tank top. I don't know that a medium is gonna fit me because I am a, it's very stretchy. I am a, a C to a D cup, a 38C or a 36D. But that's cute, I'll try that on. Two more items. This one has got paper inside of it. This is a dress. Or was it pinned? No, it's not pinned. Do you remember, you know like how men's shirts come with a little pin, I always stick myself. I don't know about this. This is both Elijah J. It is a 12 petite, although it's stretchy, so I probably could have used a 10, I don't know. Elijah J, navy, size 12 petite. This is $128. It is a fit and flare dress. It does have elastic at the, this is gonna be below your elbow. Um, I, I love the floral print of it. It has a belt. It is a wrap top, but not bottom, I don't think. Yes, it is, is a, it is a wrap bottom and a wrap top, but it's, it feels like it's sewn here at the center. 
So very pretty colors. Might be a little dressy for things that I need right now, but definitely worth a try on. That's pretty. And the very last thing, I told her to go ahead and send it, but I actually already have a white eyelet bell sleeve dress that I bought a few years back and me and white don't work so well. But this one is by Vince Camuto. It is a size 12 petite and this has no stretch in it, so I will definitely need the 12 in this. And this one is, it says ivory, but it's definitely more of a stark white. It's the bell sleeve eyelet shift dress, $148. These are, the sleeves are a bell. I think that's really pretty, especially once I have a little bit of color. Zip down the back. Oh, look at the bottom has little tassels. How cute is that? I might have to, uh, if this fits and I like it, I might have to run downstairs and grab my other one to see. Is there something on it? There is one little spot right here. And one little, this one shows up more, one little spot here. I will have to send her a message. I won't keep even trying it on, but there is definitely something on this dress. So I'll send her a message about that. All right, so let me, maybe I'll try the straw hat on with that. We'll see. Let me grab my husband in here and get changed and we'll do a try on. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so far I'm loving everything she's picked out. So the shoes are mine. I chose to do a very low wedge sandal with them just so that I don't have to wobble around on my knee. Um, the pants, these are the Nick and Zoe pull on, no pockets, no nothing, just with a little tiny um, tab down here, a little slit down the ankle. They fit wonderfully, they feel wonderful. These are an eight petite. So I guess different sizes, you know, eight petites fit in some and eight petites fit in others, or don't fit in others. Um, this is the one cloud, I'm sorry, one state in cloud camisole here. Uh, I think it fits really nicely. It does have adjustable sleeves. It is a little long, but I would front tuck it anyway. Um, and this, I haven't tried the other one on yet, but I'm loving this cardigan. I think it's so sheer and crisp for the summertime. I love the length of it. I love the fact that there are buttons. I can button it if I wanted to. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a hard box because I know for sure this and this are staying with me. This is the necklace by Bobble Bar. It's an all gold. Let's see, it took me five, 10 minutes to get it off the packaging. I do like it. Like I said, I have the other three set thing coming from Nordstrom, but it's a mixture of silver and gold. I think that might be more at my style but or my, my alley but i do like this so all right let me get changed into the next thing okay so i kept the white camisole on i would not wear this with this it would have to be white um i don't hate them the length is okay uh i just i just feel a little awkward in them and i think they might be they feel fine in the tissue area size wise but the way that the pockets are sewn in, it's kind of tight there. So it's pulling right here at the top of the thigh. And I don't like that look. I feel like they should be bigger. So I think I would need a large petite in these. Um, I don't know that it's something that I would want to... I don't know. They're interesting. But for sure, the medium petite isn't going to work for me. Jewel, my goodness. Okay, so this is the halogen pants. Um, in a size 8 petite, where'd they go? Uh, that's halogen ankle pants, size 8 petite. Um, they fit me wonderfully, and my husband actually says he thinks these fit me better in the tush. Um, slightly tight in the waist right now, because I'm a little, I'm up a few pounds, but I'm working on that. I've been good the last couple of days. The top, it has that flowy vibe, it has the linen vibe. I know that it's going to be fun to keep unwrinkled but I love it I love the back detail especially once I get a little color back there I like the high low with the little slits here <sighs> I'm really loving this box you guys trunk club gets me every time I'm gonna keep these pants on and try I think there's one other top and then I have two dresses and like I said I'm not gonna try the bralette on for you all right, this is the embroidered slub knit tank size medium from Caslon in green. Um, it does not wow me like everything else the box has. Um, I think it fits nicely. It's just not really something that I'm gonna pull for. I have one other top and that I forgot about. 
and a cardigan, and then I'll try the dresses on and the hat. Okay, so here's the second cardigan. It is you know, mid forearm, maybe three quarter length sleeves. It is by 1901 in size medium. I do like it, it is a basic cardigan. Um, I feel like the other one had a little bit more oomph to it than I wanted. And so I think between the two, the first one was my favorite. Um, the top here, this is the Sanctuary Craft, Craft Sleeveless Top, size large petite. Let me try to take the sweater off. Um, the button is pulling just ever so slightly here, but I think it's actually my bra, the way I'm feeling it. Um, I like the kind of drastic high-low. I love the color of this. And this one, I said, was by Sanctuary. The color is called Garden Girl, and I love that part of it. So, all right, I've got two dresses and a hat. Okay, so this is the Eliza J, the Eliza J Flit and Flare dress in navy. Um, it is a little on the revealing side, but my husband says he likes that. It, uh, is, it's a very high waistband. It comes just underneath my bra. I love the colors. I think the fit is nice. There are no pockets. Um, this is a fully functioning wrap belt, but the skirt itself is a wrap, a true wrap, but then it is attached here. The top does not have a modesty snap, so if you wanted to make it a little more modest, you could just tack it right there, just to give it a little more. Um, but my husband says he likes it like this. I like the three-quarter length sleeves with a little bit of a balloon to them with the elastic here. I think this is really pretty. All right, one more dress and a hat and we're done. Because I'm feeling a little bit like a tourist right now. Um, this is the straw hat. It's a little too wide um, inside here. It's too much room. I guess I have a small head. It's a size medium, it says. But this is the Joanna Straw Hat by Brixen in the color honey with a little black band. And the dress is the Bell Sleeve Eyelet Shift Dress by Vince Camuto in the color ivory, which is white. And it is a size 12 petite. So, um, it's very cute. It's very kind of restricting. I mean, it's not too small here. Everything fits the zip very easily. This feels a little bit restricting because there's no movement in it. And I do have a white kind of lacy eyelet dress. Before I just film, you know, the, the final, you know, the recap, I'll run downstairs and bring it up and show you what I have that's similar to it. All right, so I don't think the hat's going to be a yes, and I don't think the dress is going to be a yes. All right, let me get changed. All right, it's time to do my trunk club review. Um, I'll kind of let you know as I did everything online, you know, as I tried everything on, how I felt about each thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this was a hard one. I did look online. That cardigan, the back of the chair cardigan by Nick and Zoe, um, that $85.99 is the sale price. It was regularly $108. So I'm keeping that. I, I love the way it felt. It was exactly what I was looking for. This is a petite large. I see that they also have it in black and the black is on a better sale for 75, excuse me, it's 30% off. It's now 75.99. So I might actually order the black one as well. I just loved the way that fit. I am, it was exactly what I had asked her for. And the other white cardigan, everything is behind me here. Um, Ooh, I don't want to double on the floor. I've got puppies down there. What are that other white cardigan? I put it down here in the box. The other work cardigan, it was very nice. It's by 1901. Um, it's just a very basic cardigan, so I'm not going to keep that one. And that one was, I think, $49. Yes, it was $49. But I'm going to send that one back because I don't need two light white cardigans. I'm hoping to be able to keep the first one clean. <laughs> so we'll see how that works. And while I've got the box at my feet here, um, the hat obviously is going back. It's this the rim part on the inside is too wide for my head. I can pull it all the way down and I can stick my hand up inside here. So I guess they do come in sizes. Um, the one I have is fine. Um, it's getting, a, it's been in the pool, it's been at the beach, so it's been a little battered, but it's fine. I cannot choose between the black pants. Um, I'm struggling with that but I can always use black pants. I do have one pair of black dress pants, but they are not like an ankle length. 
they are um they actually go with a blazer it's more of a work attire um since i am being serious now about what i'm eating i'm going to keep them both um this black pair of halogen which were my husband's favorite are 69 dollars they're an eight petite and you know if if for some reason i get below an eight petite i can always have them taken in um, but I think they're a great staple piece, and I loved how they looked on me. And the other pair of black ones, um, they were a different feel. They were a pull-on, slightly more comfortable since they did, they were a pull-on. And I love the little slit that they had down at the ankle. I just thought that made it, yeah, um, I don't know, a little more casual, I guess. The same type of material. I don't really know... I don't see... I'll probably dry clean them. I'm not sure. But these are the, by Nick and Zoe and they were 128 again they can be taken in if, if i decide you know depending on how much weight i lose <laughs> who's kidding who am i kidding i haven't lost anything at this point i've gained so but i'm they both are very comfortable now to wear so i'm going to keep them both and one is they're a slightly different color black i don't even know if that's coming across now, when i just put them down in the light this one has more of a sheen the nick and zoe ones do and this one is more of a matte black um, more like a dress pant type thing. So they are, they do have some differences, but they both felt wonderful on me. Uh, this pink with the V back, it's very strange to say V back. Um, this one was by Caslon, the V back linen top, size medium. Love it. It felt wonderful. It was very flowy and loose, and I feel comfortable in it. And this was $59, and this is an absolute keeper. I thought that felt amazing the white chiffon camisole i definitely need to tone up my arms and my back but you know i would wear this more of a layering piece anyway and it felt great and i did look at the price on this they have the black one on sale right now for 50 percent off so i might order the black one because i liked this so much um it, this is 59 dollars for the white one but you know i could i could do the black one as well so i will be keeping that so this garden girl top, I love it. If you can see, I don't know if this is a way to show you. It did not pull at the chest. I had plenty of room. It's how this button placement is that gives it this little appearance of a gap here. Um, it is a full button down, but because of that, I mean, I would have to stitch it. I feel like the buttons are almost too far apart on this front piece. I loved it, but I'm not going to, it's my sanctuary, it was a large petite. It was not too small at all. If I keep this, it's going to be, I'm going to pin or tack just that very first top piece where it just, I took it off and I showed my husband and it did the exact same thing, just holding it. I don't know if you're able to see that there. It's not showing as much here because I've played with it so much, but this piece does kind of buckle out just by nature, I guess. And it's got to be button placement or maybe the fact that it is a little bit wrinkly right now. What is this made from? Is this 100% rayon? It is 100% rayon. So definitely got to be careful how I wash that. So I've not made my decision on the Garden Girl shirt. I really love the colors in this. I just would need to pin or tack that one little spot. And it, the dry cleaning thing, or, you know, not being able to throw it in the dryer. The wide leg green pants, clearly they were not a good fit on me. I just... They just don't look right on me. I guess that two of a flare, the pants that I already have are not as much of a flare uh, or much of a wide leg. So I love the print on these. I love the color on these. They just were not a good fit for my body type, my, my uh, shape. The green slub t-shirt. Who was this by? Caslon. To me, it was nothing special and I'd rather spend my money on the pieces that I thought were special. And that one was... $39 so I think that was the least, least expensive thing in the box no the bralette was is 38 and which it fit me perfectly and I actually tried it on without a bra and it fit me perfectly too now, I won't say there's any support in this it is definitely more for a show type thing so I would probably wear either a strapless bra or a fit a small little strappy black bra underneath this but I think I might actually keep that um, I actually, when I look back at the footage, I love this Elijah Dre dress. I have this great bra. Um, I can't remember who it's by right now. Notori, I think. But it shapes my chest much nicer than the one I'm wearing right now. This is just a t-shirt bra that I'm wearing underneath it right now. 
and I think before I make a decision on this I'm actually gonna run downstairs and try this on with my other bra I didn't really like the way my cleavage looked in this with this bra on but it, that, your bra does matter it absolutely does matter so I might actually hold on to this this one was $128 I thought it was really pretty and there's always occasion that I would need to dress up a little bit. So I'm gonna hold on to that. My battery's flashing, so let me talk fast. The white eyelet dress, I really thought was pretty and had there been a little bit of stretch to this, I would have kept it. Everything felt fine. It just was not roomy enough. It wasn't tight. I don't know how to explain it to you. It just was no stretch in whatsoever. So um, I thought it was pretty, definitely not with the hat but I am not gonna keep this because I'll have it filthy in a millisecond and there was something on it to begin with. And the last thing is this little necklace by Bobble Bar, which is now back again in the little mess. It kept tangling up on my neck, so I'm really hoping that that little piece that I purchased to go with mine that I've got coming, that I bought through Nordstrom, helps with this detail, oh my goodness. So for that reason, I'm not gonna keep this either. Um, I'm gonna send that back. So I think my total comes somewhere around $500 today, which is really not bad for Nordstrom. I have spent a whole lot more with them. And that depends on whether or not I keep this dress. So it will be less money if I don't keep this dress. All right, well, thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're having a very happy day. I hope you have, will subscribe if you haven't and hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And I hope you'll give me a like if you like the video and come back and see me again. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.